What does it take to master the job of a leader? And what are the key leadership lessons you want your managers and key employees to learn in order to boost their performance and outdistance their competitors? These are just a few of the challenges and strategic issues business author and professional speaker Tom Hinton addresses in his powerful presentation, Leadership Lessons I Learned on the Golf Links, 72 Ways to Par the Course. As an inspiring, high-content speaker, Tom Hinton combines the precision and excitement of golf with a power-packed message that is guaranteed to motivate your managers and get them actively involved in the learning process. Now let's join Tom Hinton as he shares a few of the leadership lessons he learned on the golf links with a group of business executives in San Diego. How many of you have ever hit another golfer? Besides me, okay. I hit the same golfer, honest to gosh, I hit the same golfer twice on the same course. Now let me tell you about it because it's very embarrassing and it's one of the important leadership lessons that I learned on the golf links. So I apologized profusely and I said, please keep the ball. I'm so terrible. And I found my ball right here in the rough, okay, which is another important leadership lesson, getting out of the rough. And sometimes the rough isn't where your ball lies. Sometimes the rough is where? It's right up here. The hardest, they say the hardest six inches in golf is where? It's right between the ears. And the challenge that we have in golf is to psychologically be up for the game. We all have handicaps in life. And as leaders, we all, just like in golf, we have to understand our strengths and weaknesses in the game. And one of the things that I have learned as a 20 handicap, actually, is that you have to master each moment of the game. You have to be able to celebrate the good shots as well as kick yourself when you miss a shot, okay? And the challenge is in life, as in leadership, as in the game of golf, to continuously practice. It's a continuous improvement process. And that's one of the leadership lessons that I want to share with you. That life is really about mastering the moment. It's that way in leadership and it's that way in the game of golf. Uh, let me ask you, I need two volunteers. I'd like to get one man and one woman if that's okay. Who's from Houston? Or, <laughs> come on up. Who's, what's, yeah, let's hear it for him. Now, you're, mo you're more than welcome to take your jacket off. Fred, is it? Yes, sir. Tom Hinton, Hi, so Tom. nice Hi, to sir. meet you. And I understand that you wanted to meet one of the Hallmark people. Is that correct? If you say yes, so. Yes, thank you for feeding me the line. Do we have somebody from Hallmark? Well, don't debate. <laughs> Time's running. Time's running. Okay. And who do we have here from Hallmark? <coughs> say it again. Hi, Eileen. Tom Hinton, thank you for volunteering. One leadership lesson I learned about uh, on the golf links is that somebody has to go first and that volunteers are a great way to, step, uh, to get a uh, job accomplished. So I want to thank you. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little putting contest. Now, I'm going to ask this side of the room right here to adopt Fred, okay? Would you adopt Fred? Can I hear for Fred? All right. Here you go, Fred. Okay, and Eileen, there you go. And this is your champion right here, Eileen, okay? All right, uh, come on up here. Now, here's the object of the game. We've got a little putting strip right here, and I'm gonna let uh, Fred go first, the first time. And uh, the object of the game is to get the ball into the cup. Now, let me ask you, before he does this, what advice do you happen to have for Fred? Keep your head down. Head down. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think he will. Keep your eye on the ball. What are some of the other things that you would like to say to help him succeed as a leader? And a putter. Huh? He's betting on you. Good. How's that for great pressure? Anything else? You see what's coming? Okay. What else? Okay. Be confident. Anything else? Do I get paid? No. <laughs> However, there is a nice reward. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to see how Fred goes on this uh, putting contest here. And you're, one of the great things about going second is that you get to see his lines. See. Well, that's off the green, folks. 
Okay, but he gets one more shot, doesn't he? Go right ahead. Agamon, Agamon, all right, all right, all right. That's just warm ups, okay? Here's the real money shot. Here we go. <laughs> well, of course. Woo! All right, good effort. Thank you. Do you have any advice for your colleague here, Eileen? Miss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Now, any advice for Eileen? <laughs> Move the, very good, that's very good. Unfortunately, in golf, you can't touch your ball. Two-stroke penalty. What else? Try hard. Try hard. Okay, I think they're just counting on your talent and ability to, to make this work. So here goes Eileen. <clears throat> oh, went over the cup. Great effort. She has another ball. Actually, they're, uh, they're both winners. Didn't they do a great job? Let's hear it for them. Thank you. What do you learn from an exercise like that? When I talk to management groups about leadership lessons they learned on the golf links, I try to impress upon them a couple of things. That leadership and golf have something very important in common. And what it is, it's about leaving a legacy. You see, in golf, what I've learned is the legacy isn't just the score. The legacy, as you will read from some of the great male and female golfers out there, is that they go beyond the score and they look at the results of their game. And they look at the results of their career. Okay? That's number one. On the leadership side, legacy is about, the leadership legacy is about growing people, helping individuals and organizations surpass themselves. I don't know about you. But when I'm dead and gone, I hope they find something more profound to etch on my tombstone than Tom made budget. See? <laughs> I think what we're here for is a higher purpose than Tom made budget. But I think it's also about results. So what is it that you're going to do with the information that you've learned here today, not just from Tom Hinton, but for many of the other speakers throughout this program. And here's my challenge to you, and it's the challenge of all leaders. Your challenge is to take information and convert that information into knowledge. But don't be content just to walk out of here with knowledge. Take that knowledge and transform it into wisdom. And with wisdom, you can go back into your organizations and grow the organization, help people surpass themselves, and you can be a better human being as a result of it. Another leadership lesson that I learned on the golf links, which is very apropos in real life, is that there are no gimmies. You know how when you stand up there on the first tee and you hit that ball, and where does it go? In the water, right? And the guy says, uh, is that a could I have a mulligan, you know, and there are no gimmies, see? So you have to count. What I've learned is that every, excuse me, every decision creates an action, and every action creates a result. And in golf, as in leadership, we have to live with the result. Often harsh, always fair. Performance is on the basis of evaluating our results, and that's one of the leadership lessons that I've learned. Another leadership lesson that I learned on the golf links is course management. You see, every golf course is uniquely different. And like leaders, no one style fits all. So you have to adjust your mental game to the different courses that you play. One of the things that I learned while you're out there on a golf course is that it sometimes requires a different club selection. For example, you can't go around putting the ball all day. Sometimes, sometimes it will require a driver. The challenge that you have on the golf links is knowing when to drive, when to use an iron, and of course, when to use the putter. So course management is a very important leadership lesson that I learned on the golf links because when you take a situation in real life 
And I'm talking about managing the course of your business. You have to look at your vision and your values, your attitudes, your behavior, and when you package all those together, you're better able to manage the course of your business just like your golf game. And when you talk about keeping score, you have to know how long will it take you to get from the tee box to the green. When you look at business, how long will it take you from the product invention cycle to capturing the marketplace? There's so many valuable lessons that I've learned on the golf links, and I hope that as you go through life, that you're able to have a great round and succeed, not just in golf, but as leaders as well. Thank you very much.